Good morning, guys. I'm like a walking billboard for Blood One, I'll tell you. Uh, drying them out. I got the old fan going here. Boy, these things are heavy. These these two by eights, guys. I don't know what Lowe's does when they throw them in a river before they put them on uh, out on the out on the deck. I don't know. But my my God, them things are heavy. And uh, so this is really drying them out nice. I mean, they're nice and lightweight. You'll get sometimes a little crack in them. Okay, if you get that little crack in them, no biggie. Uh, just load it up with Bontite 3 and put you a couple clamps on it overnight and it'll suck that thing up and hold it together. Once, once you get your handles on here anyway, if you have a little crack like that, once you get your handles on here, you got a couple screws in here with Bontite 3 sucked, you know, in there. It's going to take care of any splitting action anyway. And I picked up a little bargain here yesterday. Kind of nice. Check it out. Three quarter PT. And let me see if I can find the problem. So there it is down there. It had a little flaw in it. And this sheet was on top. They do that a lot. They'll put sheets on top thinking a customer is just going to grab it, you know, and go with it, which they probably do a lot. I told the guy, I says, uh, I had to have a guy come over anyway, because I got I have him bust the sheet in half. I just cut it four foot, so I got two four foot square sections, right? And then my sides, when I cut them, your grain's running this way, I cut, I cut my sides this way, so it'll be 10 inch cuts out of here, right? Oh, I got a really cool tool coming. You guys are going to probably like that. I think I'm going to like it. It's called a rail saw. It's coming in a few days. Because it is a pain. I was telling my son about it. He said, oh, no, no, no. He does a little woodwork. He said, no, Dad. How do you cut? No, I said, I throw a straight edge on it. Which is usually this, you know, one of these gobbies here. Uh, drywall square. And he, oh, no, Dad. No, you no. Forget that, man. That's crazy. And so he says he got on his little computer phone there, and he pulled it up. Here's what you need. And uh, anyway, he said you got one coming. So uh, anyway, in a few days I'll get that. We'll set it up. We'll see how that works. And burn out a bunch of these. But anyway, it was on top. That's a fifty-three dollar sheet of plywood, guys. PT, three-quarter PT, about fifty-three dollar sheet. And I said, I told the guy, I says. Uh, I said, I need a sheet of this. I need you to help me load it because it weighs a friggin' ton. Yep, no problem. You got it on there. I said, I need to bust it in half. He's no problem. I said, but this top sheet's got a little flaw in it. He says, he looked at me, he says, uh, well, we'll just throw it aside and get the one underneath. I said, well, yeah, we can do that, or you can, you know, discount that top sheet for me. He said, how about 50% off? I gave him a thumbs up, guys. Okay, guys, part of my daily routine. Oh, my candelabra plant. It didn't looking too good. It didn't like the frost is what happened. Yeah, here's my uh, little squirrel and, and uh, songbird feeder. Little, and right on the other side of the fence, look at there. There's a trophy rock, and there's some whole corn. I had four, I had four does here the other day chowing away. And oh, something else I added. Bucket of water for them. And how I retrieve that is by this bank line right here. I can pull that up and change it out. But normally I just come over, stick my hose through the fence. Granted, they can go back to the swamp. But it's kind of nice to have a bucket of water. Actually, a lot of animals will come to water quicker than, uh, you know, We've had food out there. I just feel there's like there's love in the air, guys. There's love in the air. It's springtime. But it's cool this morning. I think it's 69 degrees here <coughs> in sunny Florida. Look at this thing, guys. Pakistani mulberry. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Check it out. There is fruit. There is fruit going on all over this thing, guys. Now, this will get a blackberry. 
about that long. They said they were going to be this long, long as my finger. Uh, that was the sales pitch lie. Okay. Just let, give me a heads up. But it's got fruit coming out of it everywhere, guys. And I don't eat a lot of fruit. But what I'll do when these things ripen, I'll come out here and eat a handful every morning. These aren't, uh, these are kind of like a keto friendly fruit, like blackberries and raspberries. Uh, you go pounding down a whole bunch of blueberries and stuff, you're just jacking your blood sugar crazy. But these things won't. That's why I planted. I have actually another one in the back. Yeah, it'll, it won't be long, it'll be just a few days. And those would be nice blackberries. Very cool. I don't see any. I don't see any ripe yet. So yes, love is in the air, guys. It is springtime. Oh, look at here. Speaking of love, check it out, guys. Sweet almond. This thing blooms all year long, guys. I got another one in the back, a big one. I'll show it to you. Yeah. Need any lemongrass? I'm cutting that stuff out. I just... I want more sunlight on this. It does make a good chop and drop material. But, uh... And you can use the uh, roots on them for, you know... It's, it goes... It gets invasive, though, guys. Look at it. It's just going crazy over here. Popping up everywhere. It, it shoots out laterals. My uh, my moringa got its ass kicked a little bit here. Like this one's dead, but it will come back from the shoots. And my longevity spinach, it got its ass kicked really bad. But I see it's coming back. As soon as the sunlight hits this thing, I'm sure it's going to explode. Here's a pup. Here's a pup moringa coming up. <coughs> but it's coming here. So, yeah, one year, this the entire stalk's just... I had them this big, too, and they just snap off. But no fear on these. I don't know how far north you can go with these, but right here, um, they they can frost out, but they'll come back from the roots, and they'll get a, they'll get a trunk like this on them in one year's time. It's just unbelievable how fast they grow. But the bees will be... As soon as the bees wake up this morning, they'll be all over this. I have not seen the bees working this bloom here on these mulberries too much, but I got fruit. I got fruit, guys, just coming out the yin and yang here. This is uh, uh, chaya, chaya spinach. I don't care for it, and I've tried to, <laughs> I've tried to chop it out, and it keeps coming back. It's relentless. All right, let's go out back and see what's going on. We got other things happening here on Steve-O's base camp. Alrighty, guys, coming along here. I got another sweet almond. I got another sweet almond here. This baby's getting big. It's, this is probably going to explode this year and get huge. I think this thing can get 30 feet in the air, which is fine. I'm just going to let it go wild. But yeah, the bees love this, and it's got a really nice really nice smelling bloom on if you guys can raise you know do this tree in your area please do yeah the viburnum this is entire viburnum hedge along here it's going to be blooming here really soon the bees love that uh hopefully there's love in the air hopefully there has been love in the air because uh the matthew queens have, should be bred now they should all be bred, and uh, so we need to get in and check these, check these little two framers. It's time to check this. I had a 322 on here. I think I dropped a, a frame of eggs in this one, but that's a Matthew there, um, and all these other ones I've got over here are Matthews. So we're going to have to get in these, and uh, we have the one. Um, Martin Queen. The Martin Queen is uh, is in that one over there. So, yeah, the Martin Queen is in that brown nook. But all these others here, all these, we need to get in. There's another one right there. 
we need to get into these but it's it's cool this morning we're not going to play around in beehives until it warms up okay let's go in here in the queen shack queen shack wow yeah you can bring your queens in here guys uh what what what's the temperature this morning are you kidding me guys are you kidding are you kidding it's 55 degrees so i've got one here i got a little a manual job here mercury i've got a little inside this is inside the shack you can see i got a probe going that's inside 58.3 i got a 55 outside the shack all right what's going on in here boys and girls all right we got these guys here we got these guys here i've, I've already put my uh, transfer cages we got 11 of them so i set up 11 right there uh those are those those are the uh, california cages i like those guys because you can put a lot on a little bar like that as you can see and yeah and temperature is running perfect on that uh, what's the date today today is the 13th hello yeah cage first queens check matthew nukes so we got two projects today now these these queens in this uh this incubator are supposed to hatch out on uh, the 15th. So we'll see how that goes. I'll bring you along. I've got this little device here I made up. This is just to take my cells off of that bar. Because you can see here, this little live action here. This goes up under here. Actually, I turn these ends in. Just like to come out of the incubator. When it comes out of the incubator, these will be folded in. When when I fold those out, they go in the beehive. But that's going to go right in there. And I just hold them in place, very simple, with a couple wing nuts. This will tilt and pivot, and you can do that on the, on the wing nuts here. And then I'll set my cage frame, that one, right here in front. And just one by one, I'll go in there. I'll probably start on this side. And I'll hold it with my left hand up close to the base. And I'll slide this fillet knife in and just just work them off, and then install in my cage. So yeah, that's what we'll do. And what we're also going to do now is shut off this AC unit. We do not. We need to power this off. It just automatically keeps cycling that fan. I've got it on a Econo run, which it it just cycles. But if the I've got it set, I got it set at uh, 73. Uh, no, 78. I've got it set at. I've got it set at 78. And uh, so that will cycle on and off as needed. But right now, we don't want that. We, we, we shut that AC down. Let this room... I'm going to leave this door open. Leave this door open. And about 11 o'clock today, it's going to be 78 degrees. It's perfect. It's fine. They will come out. You don't piddle around too much. You get those, get those cells off in your cages and get them back in the incubator. All right? Uh, just purchased go online and get you some of these things guys i picked up another 20 of these and uh as and you change these out monthly you load them load them with your max force bait it works great just a couple of dots in there uh if you if you've got a standard factory beehive these probably won't fit because you clamp these down and they, there's, there's no room hardly up under that lid to put these. I like to put these on the top. With my all my beehives, I can. In a few factory frames boxes I have, I can't. So I just throw them on the floorboard of the hive. But I keep a lot of these in stock. They're cheap. Uh, get them on. Uh, get them on Amazon. I got. I'm a Prime customer, so I go Amazon Prime and you get those. 
uh, when they go in the freezer, uh, when I harvest them every month out of the out of the hives, I put them in a Ziploc bag. I throw them in the freezer. 24 hours, you'd come back, open them up, and that propolis that's in there is really brittle. And you just pop it out real quick with a knife, easy. I throw it in that bucket, another bucket like that, a little Dawn detergent in there, and uh, hot water. Throw, throw all the traps in there. I put on rubber gloves because you're dealing with that poison there. This poison says do not get it on your hands, in your skin, whatever. Put on rubber gloves and you clean them traps out with soapy water. Rinse them out with hot water and set them aside. They'll be sticky, a little sticky because they're loaded with, they got propolis all over them. So... All right, that's what we'll do in a little bit. I'll bring you along. We'll get in. We'll get these cells transferred. We'll get in these nooks and see if we have a uh, Matthew success story on them queens. See you in a bit. Yeah, you're a meanie. You're a meanie, buddy. You're a meanie. He beats them roosters up, guys. He beats them up, let me tell you. He's a sex maniac. He's a wild thing. Yeah, you'd like to pick my eyes out, wouldn't you, buddy? All right. He's having fun, guys. Give him a little feed here. That's how I feed him. Some of this, some of this crappy uh, tractor supply crumble feed. They be hungry. All right, we're moving on. Good morning, ducks. Good morning, ducks. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Have at it, boys. Have at it, boys. Have at it. Free range, free range duck farming, guys. I've, I've had as many as 15 in here. There's never a consistent amount that comes in here. There's never a consistent amount. No, your food's over there, dummy. Come looking at me. Yeah, they just keep coming, guys. I think I swear, I swear they all have cell phones, guys. They all have cell phones because they find out the food's here and here they come. Invasive species, they say. I, got, I deal a lot with invasive species. You know, I see my elder, my elderberry are coming in. All through there's elder, is in that thick jungle. My pineapple plants, I'll probably get 15 or 20 pineapples out of that mess this year. And that mess right over there, I got another batch of them over here. And the invasive Brazilian pepper is just coming up everywhere here, guys. I should have a heck of a honey crop this coming year with that stuff. Yeah, I trim this one down every year. And look at it. It's blasting out already with all fresh shoots. Fast. Yeah, I'll probably harvest 10 pineapples out of this one. And look at this, guys. This is one I air grafted, air layered last season. And I set this thing. And this is a, I had a pile of biochar here. Look at it. This is biochar, compost, seaweed, chicken poop, everything in here. And I let this box set. The box completely rotted down. All of my bones from my bone broth, my bone broth are in here. These bones are all deteriorating going in this mix. This thing is loaded with bones and stuff. 
seaweed, compost, animal manures. So I let this set for two years. And then I, I just planted this here this year. So I will see how this goes. This will be an experiment. But I see the fruits coming out here, but it's very puny looking. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, on to the next one. Guys, have you ever seen a uh, cotton ball with four legs? Cotton ball with four legs. Well, here it is. It's Max. Hey, Max. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, that's Max. You been a good boy? Are you a good boy, Max? Huh? You a good boy? My son took the family, the two grandkids and, and wife, over to Disney for four days, and guess what I get to do? Babysit Max. Now, Max, let's look at Max a little bit. Look at, now, he's a... He's a he's a little fur ball. Now look at look at his look at his teeth. Now everybody look at his teeth. Get a good look at his teeth. See, I'm gonna have to talk to the dentist or the uh, veterinarian to see. He's got an underbite, and I'm gonna see if uh, he needs braces. Okay. Max, Max, do you do you need braces? Just kidding. We're not going to have braces for Max, no. Okay, let's let's take Max for a walk. That's part of my job, and then uh, we'll do some beekeeping. The bees woke up, guys. Yep, they woke up. They like their sweet almond. Imagine that. Alrighty guys, we're at the old grafting grafting shack. Uh, we've got an outside the building here at the 86. Inside this room here is 80 degrees, so I would say we're all hunky-dory here to make this transfer. I've had these cages in here overnight. These cages have been here overnight, so we'll carefully take our cells out here. I like to pre-warm my cages up here. These pre-warm them up. Yep. See this little device here goes like so, and now I can sit here and tighten these up. Now you got a nice secure thing here and you can tilt these. You can loosen up your wing nuts on the side here a little bit. And you can roll this back at a comfortable position. Tighten these up. These are tight, everything's locked down nice. I got a little bit of webbing right here so we just come in here and just nip that like so. I can come in here on the bottom you put these here like this and come underneath and grab this cell and get this fine blade right up under there and see you can walk that, that cell, queen cell right off just really slick and ease that down in there there's nothing to it guys This little fixture just this little fixture here just helps. And here's one damaged here. That one they never closed up. I didn't see that. They never closed that one up. They're a little stuck on there. Not bad. 
So that's how we do it. I'm going to go right down through and get all these loaded up. I find it easier, guys, just to take the point point of this fillet knife and come center center the cell right there next to the wood carefully you don't poke your poke yourself in the finger and plunge plunge it in plunge it in and just turn your knife and your cells pop right out nice for you come straight in like this turn and out they come uh, see we are one two days we are two days from these hatching good lord willing and the creek don't rise so at this point in the game these cells are pretty tough they're pretty tough so shouldn't have any issues here with that I don't know how much royal jelly they got I'm seeing very little royal jelly in there. Thing I did not do on these these guys is uh thing I didn't do on these guys was give them a patty, a pollen patty next to the so I'm going to do that on the next batch. They're going to have a pollen patty so they've got all the goodies they need. Now I'm probably going to pack in more nurse bees on my next round. Okay, they're loaded. They're ready to go, guys. So yeah, I'll be... Uh, I'll take these off. I'll take these off and add fresh ones. And I just save them. Maybe this winter when I have a pile of them and there's nothing to do, I will clean those. Right now I have another bar here ready to go. We did this one the other day. See, I, we waxed it along this edge here so it's nice and tight. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So let's get a smoker fired up and get out here in the field and... Uh, See what kind of success story we had on our two frame nooks. I've been feeding these right along and uh, they're really drinking down the syrup. So that's a good thing. Okay, I see no eggs on this one here. The bees don't seem very nervous. A lot of pollen coming in. A little nectar. Lots of pollen over here. No eggs. Okay, I see eggs here, guys. So we have a success story here. I don't see her yet.
she's starting to lay on this side my first in, uh, you know uh, feelings was when I opened this colony they're laid back there she is right there in front of me that is a uh, that's a Matthew Queen very good very nice we're gonna let her blow this thing out a little more guys I'm not gonna put her in a I'm not going to put her into a uh, five frame yet so that's encouraging our first our first pick of the day and we got a success story here so what I'm gonna do with this brick it needs food I'm gonna stand this brick up like that and if they don't if I got a queen they don't need food and I have a queen I'm gonna set the brick here like that and what I will do with any failures any queen failures I will immediately pull those I will immediately pull those frames and they'll be utilized transferring this girl over to a five and setting her up with that so that's cool we got one so far let's check this one over here okay guys there's another Matthew Queen running around in here She's laying nicely. No need to look any further. I will look at this frame here to see if she's dumping any eggs over here. This is basically pollen. They have plenty of working room here, guys. That whole other side over there has not been drawn out yet. So she's got she's got elbow room here there's no need to throw this in a five yet okay so all they need all they need is more sugar agua okay keep her going with sugar agua so this hive is a success story i'm going to stand the brick up we're going to move on. Three opened it up and they seem to be chilling. There's something strange going on over here. There's a drippy feeder. There's something. They're just getting out of that, uh, that hole in the back. That screen hole in the back. Looks like they're trying to collect syrup from the bottom of that eye for some reason. A lot of bees in this colony. Lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. These bees aren't nervous. There's lots of eggs. We have a queen in here somewhere. There she is. Right there, guys. Italiano. A sweet baby Italiano. Don't need to fool with her no more, guys. Again, again, we're going to keep the syrup on there. It won't be long. These are going to get shifted into fives. So, so, so far, we have 100%. We're going to put this brick up and move on. Okay, guys, I'm in hive four. And I see eggs. <coughs> 
lots of nectar and a big old fat queen right there see her she's got plenty of room in here as soon as her as soon as her young and start getting capped off we need to seriously be thinking about shifting her into five until that point in time keep pumping the sugar water to them high four success story bada bing let's keep moving on yeah, okay guys i'm on to high five and i'm seeing some eggs i'm seeing some eggs in here you don't seem to be slamming every cell, but there's some eggs in here. And you can see the demeanor of these bees. They're, they're, they're laid back. They're not, they're not runny. Freaking out. Let me check this frame here. seen some frame I'm not seeing eggs in this one and I have not seen her yet but there's a queen in this box I know that much there she is there she is there's queen five I think she's just a tad slow to start guys She's just a tad slow to start, but lots of bees in this box. I had a lot of sealed brood in this frame here, and I think it's best, guys. You're making up these twos to do what I'm doing. Get a lot of sealed brood on these things. Get the maximum amount of bees in here for this to help her out when she starts laying to feed these babies. Get you some pollen in there. If you got a lot of seal brood with pollen and a little strip of honey at the top, that's excellent. For there's number five. We're running a hundred percent success story so far. On to hive six, guys. There's our our new Matthew Queen. I love it. I love it and can't get enough of it. So far guys, the bee gods are with old Stevo. All right, put this brick up. Actually, this is off. This whole stand is a little bit off kilter here. I'm going to put it this way. Put it on this edge over here. I'll know it's. I know it's a success story over here. Let's go to the. Let's go to number seven. Okay, guys. I'm on to colony seven here, and uh, I'm seeing no eggs. 
they're very chilled though the bees are chilled it's so possible she's running in here I have not found her normally when they're queenless they're jittery I see no no eggs whatsoever so what I'll do is mark this colony she could be here she could be just a late starter I do not see her so what we'll do she could be running around in the box too down in here we don't know We will keep the feed to these. We'll keep the feed going here, and I'm going to write on here uh, no eggs. Just, just, uh, just a mark here that says no eggs. I can't really write with that one. I got to find my magic marker. come back and check this thing in about four days and if we have no eggs in here we will salvage this equipment because we don't want to get a, a laying worker started in here laying workers to me ain't that big a deal because what I do with them is I'll take all these resources over to a five frame say one of these girls are ready to go into a five I'll take all these bees over and I'll shake them on the ground these frames will go in that five and whatever bees that want to come into that colony they can come through the front door and these the guard bees can you know deal with them so we'll keep moving on here Okay guys, we just had a queen hatch here, right here. She's brand new. She hatched right out of this cell over here. She's gonna be running around here killing off that other one here real soon. So she's gonna have to have another week or so to get bred and come back. So we'll leave it alone. Apparently that queen was uh, was terminated that virgin and they just made another one so she just hatched let's let's leave her go on autopilot no need to kill her we'll check her disposition she could be just hunky dory we don't know yet I'm gonna write virgin on the top of this box that way I know to come back in a couple of weeks and check it and not fool around with her at all she's real runny on the frame she's nervous like most virgins are leave her alone there's two other cells in there that she's going to rip rip down here real shortly okay guys i just put virgin on there and check 327 uh yeah we'll come back 327 check her out we're going to come back in about a week on this one and uh get in here and see if, if this thing is if done anything if it hasn't we're gonna salvage that equipment okay guys I'm back here in the Queen shack here good thing I came in I'd get some more fuel from my smoker but I noticed we're already up here to uh, 89 degrees so I just kicked in the AC unit to get this cabin uh, temperature correct okay guys I'm on the hive 9 and this one was a total failure and it's amazing it wasn't robbed out uh, this one is shut down but that's fine what we're going to do with these with these frames here they're nice beautiful frames we will take and put them in a colony over here 
that is a production colony that has outside frames or just has plastic so we'll harvest those put these in because the queen can go right away and start laying in these so that's nine here's number ten Number 10 doesn't look very frisky either. Looks like there just wasn't enough bees to cover the cover this. We had some cold days. We're coming in some really hot weather, guys, so you can get away with a lot more in the hot weather. We're entering hell heat very soon. Yeah, there's beetle. I see beetle maggots down in here. This this is shut down. This one's going also. Make sure this queen ain't on here. No, there's... This is a really crap frame anyway. This one needs to be changed out. It's got some resources. I may leave it in there. Yeah, this colony here shut down also. We'll add that to a production hive. See what we got over here. So far, it looks like we're running 80% success rate here, guys, so far with our virgin introduction program. So I'm kind of pleased with that so far. A lot of sealed brood on this thing. Steel drone brood. First thing I go to look for, guys, is eggs. I I don't really start scanning for a queen. I want to see eggs. Obviously. got a ton of nectar on it so they have lots of food here See no eggs or no queen. We're going to give this one a couple more days. We're going to just have a couple more days and then we're going to salvage all these resources because then that thing's heavy with honey. Okay guys, I got a really nice colony here. 
and uh, this die out had this crappy frame in it here it's a uh, string frame and uh, I took the good frame pulled this out I pulled this one out of here they just started on it they're just starting on it it was on an outside frame so I installed that really nice drawn out frame keep these out of the sunlight and uh, so that's all that box needs this thing's going to need a third box but I'm what I'm going to do here with this girl I've got these cells in here they're hashing on the what 15 we're going to need more resources and this will be one of my girls here that I can rob from I've got more around so we can set up more two framers so that's the plan on that and the sugar syrup that they just didn't fill up this is all that's left on this one I'll top it out and give them a, a full full jar of syrup this colony is doing excellent okay we got a nice little queen here going she hasn't uh, started laying yet she doesn't have a lot of resources in here but I'm gonna let her go she's got some brood in here I'm gonna let her go for a while guys and see what she does all these all these hives that don't make it I've got that eight I got a double eight framer over here and I just put a third box on it and all those frames are going in there it's it's she's just cranking out that is the actual the breeder colony and she's just blowing it up this one here I got to check on 322 let's see what it looks like for bees in here got a lot of bees in there so that's looking pretty good all right guys that's about a wrap here um it looks like with our virgie virgie installation with our virgie installation looks to me like we're running 80 percent on this deal so so what did we learn today boys and girls yes you can install virgins but most commercial guys don't like doing it they like to put in cells uh, Martin's running a batch of putting in a batch of cells today. He only got 50% on his uh, Virgie install uh, So we'll, we'll keep at this, you know, we may change gears here and do something different for right now I kind of like installing virgins because you can see what you got and uh, You can come back in a, in a couple weeks after you install them and, and evaluate and see what's going on Anything that you've got that two-week period in there while she's getting mated and all that And there's enough bees in there protect that stuff. So black moth don't eat things up So that buys you time for her and you as far as that equipment goes because You got to get in these boxes and check and see how she's doing does she need more room uh, it, it, you don't don't just throw her over in a five just because she's laying let her kind of tighten that thing up a little bit then shift her over and uh, Those die outs you can just grab them out of there. Don't let the wax moth eat the stuff up get it in uh, in the uh, in another box add another box like I just did over here and Save your equipment Keep making more bugs guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Be happy Bye-bye.